is the battle with Steven will be the finale of this series. Uh, why does it feel like an ending right now? Um, where is it? Slateport? Or is it Lily Cove? I think it's Lily Cove. It feels really weird. It feels like a finale right now. I don't think it's this way, is it? No, it's this way. Um, this is this is a really odd feeling. It really does feel like I was expecting that to go on for at least another half hour, if I'm honest. So, here we are. Hello, are you here from the ferry? May I see your ticket? I flash the ticket. I don't need to show up properly. It's just, yeah, this is my ticket. Oh, that looks completely legit. That's all you need. You only need to flash me. I'm sorry. I said you only need to flash the ticket. Uh, take me to Slateport, please. Slateport it is, then. Yes, please. All right, board the ferry and wait for departure. The tiny ferry and... It, oh, we've, we're leaving immediately. Lucky there was no one else who wanted to get on board. Well, hi, hi, Garen, Garen. Something's come up, so I have to disembark, but I'm glad to see... You can't disembark. We've already left. We, we just left. No one got off. Congratulations, League Champion. There's a place I'd like to invite someone like you. It's the Battle Frontier. <gasps> I have never heard of this place. Tell me more. What's the place like? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken with a ship's captain about this. The next time you take a ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Garen, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. I'm going to jump overboard. Okay. Question. If the next time I board, he'll take me to the Battle Frontier, is that like... Wouldn't that be like getting on a bus and saying to the driver, oh, it's me, and he goes, okay, where do you want to go? I will take you literally anywhere. All right, I suppose it's not. But it's like saying, okay, well, here is the bus going around um, Manchester. I will drop you off in Birmingham. How's that? Anyway... So, this is the ferry. I need to take the ferry trip once before I can actually do the uh, the Battle Frontier stuff, clearly. Hello. I feel a little silly, but we'll show you a lovey-dovey power. Please don't. Please don't. Why do you have two separate beds? It's an interesting question. Love disc and love disc. Okay, well... This will make short work of them. Yay, Yang's level 54. Piss easy. Oh, boo. Piss easy. With your separate beds. I can't believe it. Our lovey-dovey power failed. You must be an awesome trainer. It's the first time our lovey-dovey power couldn't prevail. You must be an awesome trainer. Uh-huh. Cabin 1. Yeah, these are just all the different cabins. Anything in here? Oh, the repel wore off. Good to know. Anything in here? Hello? You broke into my cabin, how dare- oh, you've come just in time. I'm bored, you see. Entertain me, bitch. This is a whole- oh, you're a rich boy, of course. Garrett, please let me have the honour of entertaining your bitch ass. Oh no, would you look at that? You didn't even last long enough for me to finish my insult. Oh, there's an old man. Hello. Are your friends strong? Why? What do you have in mind? No, seriously, what do you have in mind? Oh, a Minette trick. Minette. Wow. Okay, this is apparently the experience being split three ways. Whatever. Just psychic him. Fuck's sake, seriously? Cut. Ugh. Wow. Another Manectric, yes, I will switch to Minette, please. We will use Earthquake immediately and win. Your friends are indeed strong. Oh, you're talking about my Pokemon. I suppose I don't have many real life friends. I've got May. May isn't very strong. I'm not sure I count Wally. He definitely isn't strong. Might actually be a crime to get him to do physical labor. Hello. Go visit other cabins. Trained with board of the boat trip will be itching to battle. Then why do they get on these boat trips? Well, there's a guy throwing up. Hello. 
Oh, hi, I'm not actually suspicious. Though you can have this for free. Honestly, I didn't snatch it from someone. I'd never do such a thing. It's clean, you could use it. Is it a tissue? No, it's a TM. Is this a snatch steals the beneficial effects of certain moves before they can be used by a power ally? Does it? Huh. I thought Snatch took the other team's item. Now that's Thief. Hello. Welcome aboard, Garen. They made me an honorary captain of the SS title. Call me Captain Briny. You know, I retired once before, but I saw this majestic ship. Let me just say, it stirred my sleeping penis soul as a sailor. Isn't that right, wife? That's a bird. That's my wife. Remember, we've been through this. It's a joke from a long time ago. I think you're a bit on the nose with the whole sleeping soul thing. It's going to move on. Pretend I didn't make that joke. Child, did you knock on the door? No, I just walked straight in because there was a weird old man talking about his soul. By soul, do you mean soul? No. Oh. That was piss. A loss is to be accepted without haste or panic, especially when someone barges into your property. Just accept the loss. <laughs> to be never ruffled in any situation is the gentleman's code of conduct. Isn't that sort of the opposite of what gentlemen do? They're always like, oh, oh this is uh, most unorthodox. In basically any situation that ruffles them. Hello, I've broken into your room as well. Oh, you're such an adorable trainer. Would you like to have tea? Or would you prefer battle? Actually, tea sounds great. I could really do with... Is that no tea? Just straight to the battle. Alright, just brute force it. Oh, you poisoned me. It's fine. I see, you're the active sort. No, I'd rather have tea. A world cruise on a luxury liner has its charms, I must say. But I will admit there is an appealing side to touring Hoenn by ferry. I recommend Route thir one 13. 13? God, it's been so long, I don't even remember what bloody route it was. Hello. I often sail to Lillicom City. I enjoy attending contests, you say. Oh, six Pokemon. They're all horrifically low level. Oh, no, getting slightly higher. Slightly higher. No, back down to nothing. Slightly higher. Absolutely piss easy, but Sackcloth leveled up, and that's a plus. I don't know why I compulsively check people's bins. Well, that's this floor done. So I saw stairs over here. Ah, bins. No. Nope. Hello. Arr, I'm fed up and dark tired of cleaning this huge place. Let's have a quick battle. Sure, it will be very quick. I'm going to beat you into the floor with psych. Wow, it held on. Okay, and my choke. Yep, can beat that one into the floor as well. Boom, gone forever. Little bro, I lost. Who are you talking to? We're the cleanup brothers. The old one dumps the detergent and the young one does the scrubbing. That's fucking weird. This is the bottom of the ship's hull. There's plenty of room. It'll be alright for a Pokemon battle. Hey, I've had Pokemon battles in bloody cabins. I ha I think I did an earthquake. Or was that somewhere else? God, all these battles are merging together. Yay, Satoris leveled up. Earthquake! Just do an earthquake at the bottom of the uh, ship. Sure, there is absolutely nothing horrifically wrong that can happen from that. Big bro, I lost! These guys aren't any kind of threat. We're the cleanup brothers! Yeah, your brother just told me about that. Yay, leftovers! The one time I sped through it. <sighs> well, that's why I keep compulsively checking bins for leftovers, basically. Is that it? Is that all there is on this bloody ship? Can I go on the deck? Can I smell the sea air? It'll be some time before we make land, I reckon. You can rest up in your cabin if you like. Number two. 
Soft and plushy, I can attest to how comfy it is. I didn't even make up that line, but I'm going to make up this one because I like to sleep in it when you're not there. Curl up with you. Wrap my strong arms around you. The ferry is built to plough through fast running currents. We hope you enjoy your voyage with us. That was a very odd thing to say over the intercom. It's like, this ship can withstand up to 500 tonnes of iceberg. Just thought I'd mention that. Seriously, have I missed something? No, there is nothing else to do here. I think it's the second time you rest. All I'm doing is just sleeping. We have made land in Slateport City. Thank you for sailing with us. We didn't crash. If anyone asks, we didn't crash. We've arrived. Uh, well, yeah, I'm definitely here in Slateport. I wish to board immediately. Hello, are you here for the ferry? May I see your ticket? Flash. Oh, thank you. Take me to the Battle Frontier. Off we go. Battle Frontier bound. Bound. Thank you. Hello. The Battle Frontier. I've long dreamed about a place like this. I like the flag. Ooh. Is this your first time here? Please step this way. Hello. The front lines of Pokemon battling. Welcome to the Battle Frontier. For a first time visitor, we issue the Frontier Pass. It is for use at all the facilities in the Battle Frontier. Here you are. Thank you. We hope you enjoy all the Battle Frontier has to offer. Well, if it isn't Garen, you came out here. Oh, Mr. Scott, sir. Good day to you, sir. It's great to see you here, it really is. I hope you'll take your time and explore everywhere. Naturally, I hope you'll also experience the pure essence of battling. I also have my quarters here, so feel free to visit if you have time. What are you doing? I'm your guide to the various facilities here in the Battle Frontier. Which would you like to learn about? So, we have all of these. The plan is to get the silver in everything. I'm not going to go for gold because that'll just be retreading old ground. It is the gigantic tower considered to be the Battle Frontier's symbol. There are four kinds of battles. Single, double, multi and link. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll just learn about them on the fly, thanks. I'm your guide to the Frontier Pass. Tell me about symbols. There are seven facilities of the Battle Frontier. Trainers who gain recognition for their abilities may be rewarded with symbols from each of the facilities. You may need to defeat other trainers in a row and may need to win events repeatedly. It's not easy to win symbols. Good luck. No, I'm good. And you? I'm your guide to the basic rules that are common to all challenges offered by the facilities of the Battle Frontier. What would you like to learn about? Two styles. All the challenges of the Battle Frontiers facility come in two courses, level 50 and open level. The level 50 course is open to Pokemon up to and including level 50. Please keep in mind, however, that no trainer you face will have any Pokemon below level 50. Okay. The open level course places no limit on the levels of Pokemon entering. The levels of your opponent will be adjusted to match the levels of your Pokemon. However, no trainer will face... Ah. Well, that's a bit of a bollock, isn't it? Because my Pokemon all happen to be quite happily between 50 and 60. Okay. To make this better, because you do not get any experience for battling here, I am going to go and get my Pokemon up to level 60. And you know how I'm going to do that? By repeatedly going up against the Elite Four. Unless there is something really interesting that happens, I'm not going to bother showing you this. Well, all of that and some of my Pokémon went up one level. <sighs> so 
Second time round, got everyone up, well most people up to level 56. This method might actually work as tedious as it is. I wonder, what's Wally like as a training source? Hi, yep, bring it on, I'm going to try and beat you entirely using Satorus. It's working so far. Yes! Is that his last one? Yeah. Satorus beat you single-handed. Satorus, the worst one on my team, beat you single-handed. Decent experience though. I'm wondering, will he just battle me again? No. Okay. So, after about five more runs through the Elite Four and then switching to Wild Pokemon for the last couple of levels, just so I didn't go over, all of my team is now at level 60. I can now play around in the Battle Frontier to my heart's content. So, I came up here just to make sure I had somewhere to fly back to, but let's do the full entry. Here we go. The Battle Frontier. Hello. There used to be nothing here at all, not that long ago. But now look at this place, amazing! I'll bring my mother out to see this. Unless she's, unless she's an accomplished trainer, she's not allowed out here. Get it right. That's the Battle Factory. You can rent strong Pokemon there. But it makes me wonder, who's raising those rental Pokemon? I don't know. Hey bro, are you sure we can make challenges even if we don't have any Pokemon? Uh, I'm sure it'll be okay, I think. But remember that big scary guy, he said? I'll lend you Pokemon. Again, I thought only strong trainers were allowed here. I had to bloody beat the Elite Four before Scott would go, oh yeah, let's give that guy an invite. How the hell did these two, who don't actually have Pokemon, get in here? Ooh. I thought that was like a Venus flytrap or something, but no, it's a Zigzagoon looking up. Where is stuff? Hello. Excuse me, young one, have you good eyesight? There's an odd plant passed here, and to my tired eyes, it seems to wiggle. Hmm. Hey, oh. Look at that thing dance. Oh, it really knows how to move. Right. Only one thing that can be done for this. Cacturn cut it in half. Ah, oh, damn. Well, I guess I'm going to have to do something else with it. I want it to grow big and strong so that it can dance for other people. Let's pour water on it. I forgot to save. The weird tree doesn't like the Whelma Pale. The weird tree attacked. Bring it, bitch. Oh no, it's a sort of widow. Who could have seen this possibly coming? Right. I'm going to have to whittle it down and then try and catch it. Oh my god, cut really, really hurt it. So, now I go to the Ultra Balls. Ultra Ball away! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nice. Had a few suggestions for this one, even though it is technically unique. I decided to allow suggestions. It mimics a tree to avoid being attacked by enemies, but since its four legs remain green throughout the year, it is easily identifiable as, as a fake in the winter. By four legs, I take it you mean its arms? Because they're definitely not legs. Yes, so up till recently, Aku Aku was winning, but then someone suggested this. Granite. I don't know why, but I really like that as a name, and it suits a male as well. Cool, well, that's sort of widow. And what do we have round here? Oh, would you look at that? It's a cave. I do wonder what can I find in the artisan cave? Wow, what a name! Oh, <gasps> it's a smiggle. Hello! Level 40! I knocked it out, and you see that's why I made sure I stopped right at level 60, because I had a feeling I might accidentally knock something out in here. I need someone who's not quite as strong. 
Okay. I think I need to go get bloody... Oh, I've got revives and stuff, haven't I? Whoops. Let's get Yang back up so that he can quick attack things. Oh. Oh, level 43. Perfect. So, I remember having one of these and trying to use it once in, uh, I think it was gold. But I ended up, I think I gave it Confuse Ray or something, or something really terrible as the one move it started with. Oh, damn, I sped through that one. Well, I caught Smurgle. A Smurgle marks his territory using a fluid that leaks out of the tip of his tail. I've never really thought about what it is. Hmm. Yes, I have a nickname for the last Pokemon I'm going to catch in this series. And the winning suggestion was Splat. And that is a reference to my Karen Reaver vs. Slime Rancher series. Yay! So I have now caught every Pokemon I'm going to catch. Which means I don't want to encounter anything else in here because I don't want to battle anything in here. So, Carbos. And there we are. Ah, I saw it! There was a sticky sort of a Pokemon with a long tail up ahead. It was hiding under a boulder and it kept staring at me. That's really creepy. Sticky Pokemon with a long tail. I assume it means, it means Smurgle, but... I'm going to be starting with the factory. But I will be doing that next time. Thank you very much for watching. And wish me luck in the Battle Frontier. Catch you later.